Hi everyone, my name is Dave High. I'm here with Jason Weiss. He's going to give us some information about a new feature for NetBackup for Hyper-V. Great, thank you Dave. So uh, yes, NetBackup, where we've introduced an add-in for System Center Virtual Machine Manager, what's called SCVMM Console. So what I'm illustrating here in the diagram is I've got NetBackup Master Server. I've got a media server environment. This could be build your own. This could be NetBackup appliances, right, that support media server. So you've got your disk and your tape. Uh, devices, storage units, where you're backing up to. In, in green is the system center server itself, so this is very equivalent to VMware and the vCenter server. So what this add-in, uh, you might have heard the VMware web client plugin. This is very similar to that, and I'll talk about some of those capabilities. Down here we've got our Microsoft Hyper-V environment, and we've also got VMware ESX. So it's system center virtual machine manager, actually allows you to support multiple hypervisors. So these could be Hyper-V, ESX, or other hypervisor platforms. So what does the add-in provide? Well, the first thing it provides is it uniquely differentiates the jobs between the backup administrator and the virtual admin, virtualization admin. So through the native console, it, uh, native tool, the virtualization admin has visibility into the backup uh, environment. So it does provide some monitoring uh, capabilities around which, which VMs are being backed up uh, and, and allows you to uh, take action. Additionally, through this add-in, you can actually do full VM recovery. So there's no longer a need for the virtualization administrator to call the backup team and have them initiate the restore process. So the, vir the virtual machine recovery uh, can be performed directly through this add-in. As I mentioned before, this add-in uh, for SCVMM uh, does support multiple hypervisors, uh, so this could be a disparate environment, this could be a migration that's occurring, maybe converting from VMware to Hyper-V, um, <clears throat> so there is support for that. Additionally, the add-in does have some uh, role-based, so there's a number of different user roles. Uh, I'll mention there are five of them. There's the administrator, there's the fabric administrator, the read-only administrator, tenant administrator, and application administrator. So it does provide that flexibility and granularity when it comes to providing role-based access. So once again, just to summarize, the benefits are monitoring. So no, no longer having the backup team control all the backups, the virtualization administrator, through their native tools, their native console that they're familiar with, great visibility into the backup environment. The uh, VM recovery. So once again, no longer having to have the backup team initiate the restore through the native SCVMM console, the virtualization admin can initiate their own restores, maybe back to the original location or alternate location. We've got support for user roles. So I talked about those five that give you great flexibility and granularity in terms of the access uh, through the SCVMM console. And multiple hypervisors. So that, once again, managing a Hyper-V and ESX environment, it gives you that flexibility to uh, provide that support. Great, thank you. This looks like a very nice feature for our customers. Thank you very much. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.